Welcome to this lecture. My name is Jung Jin Lee. I'm a professor of Sungshil University in Seoul, Korea. Today, I'm going to introduce uh, the basic operations of East 10. I'm the project leader. If you have uh, some any kind of web browser, why don't you type this address, this URL? Uh, if possible, the Chrome would be better. Then I'm going to introduce how you enter system and data input, save open, drawing graph, data analysis, save result, print result, logout. Then some, I'm going to introduce educational modules. Okay, did you type the URL? If you type the www.eastet.me, you will see this screen. This is the main screen of Eastet. How you enter system? Type URL on any web browser. But preferably, the Chrome would be best. Suppose you have data. I'm going to show you later the how we create data. Suppose I save the data here. This is my server. In my server, there are many folders. Let's select English folder and then the first one. This is very simple data. We call this is summary data. It seems some kind of survey for how many male students, how many female students in two classes. How you draw graph in Eastern? It is so simple. This other variable name, okay, this is class name, class name we call in general, this is a variable. Click variable name will select certain variable. The first click will select the analysis variable. In case of summary data, you need at least one more column, then they're going to select the group variable. And simply, they are showing male and female student number by drawing this kind of graph. If you click one more, then they consider the next column is another group. They are showing in each class how many male students, how many female students are there. You can pull out another graph like this. Also, in this kind of data, it is categorical data. Therefore, you can use only this four graph and then some frequency table. This is the frequency table related with this one. How can you save your result? It is so simple. Uh, let's here, let's draw the bar chart. Let's uh, save this, okay? Suppose I click this icon. It's a graph save icon. If you click here, it will be saved somewhere else. Well, do you know where it is? It is in download folder. Let's look at that. Here's my download folder. Somehow I saved this kind of graph in the previous lecture. If I add one more things, they're going to have automatically the parentheses. If you click one more, they're going to have the same name with the parentheses too, like that. Also, if you want to save this data somehow, if you click this one, it is data save. Can you see that? It is a summary data, a certain name. It will be saved in the download folder. This is the data file name I just saved. You can save it. They automatically understand that it is a CSV style. Therefore, Excel can read this data file. They consider it is Excel file. Not only this one, suppose 
I'd like uh, either print or save both graph and this table. Then you can move this graph to right hand side. We call that is a log window. We call this is log window, graph window, data window. I mean, each step consists of three parts. Here, if you save, click this button, they will save it on the name of Eastel log one HTML. This kind of extension can be adapted to be read in MS Word or other softwares. Okay. And if you want to print this, click this button. You are familiar with this kind of printing. If you click this one, this output will be printed the printer you designated. Maybe that's all the simple explanation. As I mentioned, this graph is for the continuous graph. This other for university level testing hypothesis or regression analysis. But if you click this button, you can see another sub-menu related with high school. If you go here, if you click this one, you will see many menu related with the university statistic education. There are many distribution if you are familiar with this one. Okay? You don't need any kind of tables anymore. Okay, what other things you need? Let's create data and let's check how you save it. Let's blank out all these things. You simply click this one. They're going to refresh everything. I'm going to create data. One, two, three, one, four. Like this. Suppose you want to analyze this. If it is a qualitative data, just click here, then they're going to show you the bar graph. But if you think this is uh, continuous data, click here, they're going to show you in this manner, and they're going to calculate mean and standard deviation. And they're going to pull a histogram like this. How you save this data? Well, give some name. Let's say... Let's call it, this is sample. The way you save it is just click this button. Can you see that? Uh, this uh, file saved in download folder. But it seems there is uh, the same name. In that case, they automatically give name on the parentheses. Let's look up the download folder. Can you see that? These are the files we have generated so far. Maybe that's all for today. If you want to see more detail about the graph for the qualitative data, it is chapter 2. The quantitative data, that's for chapter 3. For the table and some descriptive measure, that's chapter 4. Why don't you refer that chapter?